Let's talk a little bit about models. In this class, we're going to do information modeling. That means we're going to look at a kind of information and create some representation of what we think that information is, what it's, what it's, cre what it's made from, what its parts and pieces are. So I want to go into the idea of a model so you get a feeling for what I'm talking about. And I'll use this model, this as an example. Here we have a model. This is a model not of information. Well, actually, it's sort of an information model. But for our purposes, what I want to talk about is this map as a model of the territory. And the first thing I have to say, because it always comes to my mind, and it's very pertinent here, is the map is not the territory. Right? So that's a very big, a very big point about models. The model, the map, the information type, because those will be our models, are not the territory. They're an abstraction. They're a representation of the territory. And just as this model, I don't know how well you can see it, but this is a, a map. And that map mostly focuses on the names that we've given to places, a little bit on the geography. But by and large, it focuses on the human names and the roads that go from one place to another. Is that the only aspect of a territory that we could have focused on? Clearly, there's an infinite number of aspects that we could have focused on. Why, in this case, did we focus on the names of things? and on the roads that go between one place and another. Because the purpose of the map is to get you from one place to another. And it's likely that you know the name of where you are and the name of where you're trying to go. Unless, of course, you're me, in which case you have no idea where you're trying to go. By the way, a little, a little funny story. As I was recording the previous video here, the one about IDs and ID refs, security guard walks up. Here's me, uh, he, he's very suspicious, walks up and he's standing right behind the camera looking at me like, what are you doing here? And uh, <laughs> I just kept on talking. And the stuff I was talking about was so obviously obscure and eggheaded that he figured I couldn't possibly be any threat and he just kind of waltzed off. Anyway, the map. The map is the model. And there's certain things that we want to know about models, certain things that are pertinent for us to talk about at models. First of all, the model is an abstraction. It's a representation. It's a representation of some aspect of the thing being modeled. Let's call that the context, for lack of a better general word. There's a context. In the case of the map, the context is land. The context is territory. In the case of, uh, of information, the context is, say, I'm interested in finding out about the, uh, the movies that are showing in town this week. That's the context. And so the model I'm going to create of that context is going to be an abstraction of that content. It's not going to be the movies. It's going to be some subset of information about the movies. It's going to be much more abstract than the movies themselves. If you asked me what kind of movies are playing in town tonight and I started showing you all the movies, that wouldn't be appropriate. What's more appropriate is to give you a map, to give you some guide, to give you some abstraction of the movies that are showing in town tonight. So the map, the model, is an abstraction. The map, the model, by necessity focuses on some aspects of the thing being modeled and really doesn't focus on other ones, leaves them out entirely. The purpose of the model guides which of those aspects that you, which of those aspects you show. If the purpose of this map is to get you from place to place, then it's clear that you should show place names and roads. If the purpose of this map was, was to allow you to go prospecting for minerals, let's say, it would show completely different things. It would show the geology of the land that was under it. If the purpose of this map was to show um, density of population, we'd see other things on here. It would show gradations of color. If it was to show altitude, we'd see other things on here. So the map or the model says what we care about inside of that context. And the purpose of the map, the purpose of the model defines the context. In the case of information, if I'm modeling the context where you're looking for information about movies and I know that you're very particularly focused on genre of movie, then I'll focus on genre. And my model of movies will be detailed in terms of genre, but maybe very, very undetailed in terms of actors and, and directors. But maybe you're a cinematographer and your, your focus really is on cinematography and your purpose is to find the movies by cinematographers that you respect, then cinematography is the basis of my abstraction, the basis of my model. And we'll focus on cinematography much more than we'd focus on genre or something else. Okay, so the proper model, the best model, and we're going to try and get, each one of you is going to try and get at a good model of your particular information context in this class. Whatever, whatever modules you're doing, whatever instances you're creating, whatever projects you do, they're always going to be um, requiring you to do some form of modeling. The proper model is neither too detailed nor too abstract. 
if I have, in fact, went looking for maps this morning and I exactly had to focus on the map that was not too detailed so I lose the big picture, not too focused so that I don't have enough territory included in that map. In the case of the movie context, maybe I'm, I'm really, really interested in cinematography and the detail in cinematography is going to be very complex including the camera angles used and the kinds of cameras used and in that area there'll be quite a bit of detail there'll be quite a bit of sophistication and abstraction but that doesn't mean that I'll have the sophistication and, and, um, uh, and detail that doesn't mean however that I'm going to in the other places in the actors for example say everything about the actors I'm going to keep the actors at a very high level but go into detail about the cinematography Okay, so in summary, a model is a map. It's an abstraction. It focuses on the parts of the context, and in our, in our case, the information context, that are important for the purpose of the application. What's the purpose of the application? Whatever the end users and the organization that's creating that application say is the purpose. We won't go too much into purpose in this class, but obviously there must be a purpose, and the purpose guides the abstraction, guides the modeling. The modeling is uh, a good model is at the level of detail that's appropriate to the purpose. No more, no less. You'll find, and you'll find probably the hard way, that as you get more and more detailed in your modeling, the model becomes harder and harder to, to create. You can imagine a, sh a model of a, of a ship, and that model of a ship is, is exact in every detail. That's a difficult model to create. On the other hand, if the model of the ship is a pencil drawing of that ship, that's a very easy model to create and there's not a whole, there's a, there's not a whole lot of sophistication. That model can't do much, but on the other hand, it was easy to create. Your job is to come to some balance between the complexity of the model and its ease of creation, and that's the best model.